Okay. Let's do it. So, who the hell are you? I'm London Free. I'm a comedian. <laughs> a wannabe comedian. Uh, <laughs> I, I used to speedrun some stuff. Not so much anymore. Uh, I was a Twitch streamer. D not so much anymore. Um, <laughs> Racking up on that. That's about it. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, listen, I just play... I just play... I just play pool and I do comedy. That's all I got. <laughs> um, what's your view of, uh, you know, speedrunners today? Like, what's your view of the current, um, the current kind of, you know, popularity and how everything is, you know, kept up over time? Dude, how much time you got? Um, speedrunning <laughs> is cool. It's, um, it's really neat. It's a fun, it's a fun thing to have as a side hobby. Um, I've been to, I think, nine GDQs, and they were all in a row. Uh, they're fun as hell. It's awesome. I have come to sort of hate speedrunning. Ooh, that's interesting. Is there a reason why? For right? This? There is. Um, I feel like, uh, you know what? This isn't as much speedrunning as it is just, like, Twitch. But yeah. I guess speedrunning is... I don't know. All right, so here's my here's my thing. Yeah. I, it's more of a thing with Twitch than it is anything else, but speedrunning is a big reason why this perpetuated in the way that it does. Um, think about a game such as Resident Evil 4. Yeah. Uh, when that game hit in 2005, uh, it was the greatest game ever made for God knows how many years. Yeah. Like, it's highly regarded as an incredible game it's still regarded as an incredible game it's amazing it has been released on a number of consoles uh everybody loves it it's incredible people yeah. have played it forever um resident evil 4 remake came out yeah. and it was awesome and people loved it and everyone played it for a week and it's done exactly yes <laughs> <laughs> I, and again, that has much more to do with Twitch than speedrunning. But the fact that a video game hits that is the most epic AAA title of all time, or is supposed to be the most tri epic AAA title of all time, uh, it gets broken in the first 48 hours of its release, and then it's put down forever. Uh, is not great for the health of a video game yeah. <laughs> or the people who made such said video game. Yeah, because you, were, you uh, so that's why a, I just like yeah. that. You appeared as a surprise guest, of uh, course, on the stream with uh, Mr. Okawa, the voice of the magician in House of mm. the Remake. And um, I mean, I think we even talked about there. It's kind of the perspective of um, like running overall. I think takes away something from the game, but I think commenting yes. on oh, it sure does. Yeah, and I think commenting on that additionally of what you said. It's kind of perspective yeah. of this new game's going to release back, you know, back way when you'd have IGN and some other, you know, reviews and stuff. But you'd really be trekking yeah. through a game not knowing much. And I think nowadays yeah. you can sit down and, you know, watch someone play for the entire game and, you know, <clears throat> then just not care about it. And then you're done with it. Yeah. yeah and then, it, then, it. then it's over. What a fun experience that was for two hours and I'm good. I got it. Don't need to buy it. Don't need to play it. And I feel like there's so Don't much of touch an emphasis ever again. nowadays on the fact that there's so much variety. Like, you know, there are so many games that there you is. can get. I and mean, the fact is, is that... It ha it's that like, helps you know, and hinders. Yeah, um, it helps. Yeah, of course. It, it, hinders in the f it hinders in the fact that those big AAA titles uh, aren't the only game in town, which yeah. is always a nice thing. Um, it's nice to have that variety. And it... it it, it hinders in that everyone will move to their their niche game that they yeah. really like, and then no one is that has those yeah. incredible big numbers. And I think, um... but hey, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Yeah, and I think what you were also trying to get at was like, you know, once you start speedrunning game, and I think you said it's also on the stream. It kind mm -hmm. of as it's I say, different it, forever. Yeah, and it always completely differs the game. So the thing is, is that you always sometimes just don't want to touch is. some of the games because you know it'll always be different after you start to. That you know, is, do it um, yeah. So on the, stream, the, the, the example I, overall, I think that's one of the main. Issues. That, that's, I what mean, that's the nature factors. of the beast. Yeah, it's really the nature of the beast. Um, with, I think it was mentioned on the stream. Like I said, with with. Speedrunning Star Fox 64. Um, I will never be able to play that game without doing uh, half boosts ever again. No one's going to know what that means, but who cares? 
Um, well, the, the thing is, uh, and it's it's something that Chris briefly mentioned that I yeah. wish I had got. We had we had touched on a little bit more, and I could tell him how <clears throat> incredibly genius it was for him to mention it. Yeah. Um, you, it's really breaking a video game down to something that's supposed to be the fun visual experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where you where you you know you do whatever to to experience every corner and aspect of that game, and it's breaking it down to its most linear. Exactly. You will do the same thing one hundred percent of the again. time until a new skip is discovered. For me, it was um, uh, in and the it, remake. It turns it into yeah. a chore more than it does playing a game. Yeah, for the remake, it's it's always like you know, I did a four hour stream pre um, yeah. playing the game pre Chris coming on and it's you mm -hmm. know it's always restarting at that the spider right because the chance yeah. of you getting that one cycle you know it's almost guaranteed if you get the right, right but if you don't your run is dead yeah you have to go back to the yep. beginning play oh, the same on the thing and the chances are that yep. did you doing... enjoy that first 11 minutes boy I hope you do because <laughs> you're going to do it forever yeah, but probably get them back on track for the series, and probably I'll, I'll ask sure. you I'll ask you two different two different types of this a question, which yeah. is probably fairer on you. Um, what is your favorite House of Dead game, and what is your Four. favorite game overall? Okay, that was a quick Four. response. <laughs> Why? <laughs> They're both the same answer. Four is it, is a favorite game of all time. Yep. Uh, why? That so game is gorgeous. Go it's so. It is, I think it is the perfect amount of camp. It has that little bit of camp in it, as it should, for the series that it is. I love the, and I, I let's, I'm going to get a little more specific. I love specifically House of the Dead 4 at the arcades. Yep. <laughs> the, like, PlayStation port or whatever emulator you're playing on on like a pc or anything they can fuck off i don't like i don't yeah. care about that i'm caring about the experience of that gun that isn't uh a goddamn uh buick that you're playing with if you're doing house of the dead three arcades um it's great weight it has that little touch of interactiveness with shaking the gun for both the reload and the yeah. uh the events in the game so it's got a little bit of extra to it that is not overboard yeah um i think the game plays really well i like the boss designs i think the enemies look pretty good um i and here this is what blows my mind every time i whenever i talk to people about who aren't house of the dead people yeah. they're like I love House of the Dead 4 as a video game. And they go, why? I go, look at this game and look at the graphics. And they go, okay, yeah, that looks really good. And I go, yeah, that game came out in 2005. <laughs> yeah. That thing is beautiful. <clears throat> the color choices are insane. Yeah, definitely. I love it to death. It's so good. I mean, it's just, personally, with House of the Dead 4. The work of I, art. <clears throat> yeah, when I, that was the last game in the series I got to. And I think when it came yeah. to it, it's such a leap, and I feel like I, the only thing I'll say is that I'm not sure if you agree with this. I feel like it's a bit um, cash grabby in the way that you know it reintroduces a lot, a bunch of old enemies, right, and just throws them um, at you, and it kind of expects you to say, I mean, "Oh no way, sure. that's him." It's like that's the only thing that I'll say about <laughs> the game. Otherwise, it's really good. I would, I, I, I have. Really I mean, game. that was also the era of throwing out those nods all exactly, the time. Exactly. Yes, it was. Um, yeah. So you're gonna see it, and also the game takes place what three years after the previous one so it's, it's happening not again too surprising it's not gonna be all that difference yeah yeah, yeah. god damn it yeah so yeah. it's it's not surprising that it's uh it's not too similar yeah. it's neat to be like oh we're going across that bridge that's badass yeah so what do you think your favorite line is from a house of dead game oh good lord and probably all, all um, favorite character all favorite character if you can't remember any favorite character well let's see um that is that is a pretty good question Let me i mean here. the most generic response will Every... probably be goldman <laughs> in turn hey, he's fine i i not i don't like him as much uh here's the deal in every video game that i play like a fighting yeah. game or anything i love the most goofy thing possible yeah. um Goldman is not the most goofy character possible. Yeah. 
for that answer. Um, surprisingly, I don't know. I for some reason I like Kate. I don't think she's yeah, yeah, yeah. like she's pretty good. Anything okay. outstanding in any way whatsoever, but she doesn't suck. You know what? I got you. My favorite line. I quote it often. Yeah. No one knows what it's from, <laughs> and it helps me make decisions constantly. And it's when in doubt, head left. Uh, yeah, okay. I yeah. say it <laughs> all the time. I say it all the time. No one knows what it's from. <laughs> um, and we'll go with that. We'll say that one. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And probably the last thing I'll say is that what would you? What would be one thing you'll say to the modern house of dead runners? Oh man! All right, there are two answers. One yep. is uh, I will. When if I make my comeback, I will destroy all of you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the second one is uh, guys, fucking have fun when you're playing a video game. All right, <laughs> enjoy what you're doing. If you're not enjoying it anymore, take a break or or yep. you know do whatever. So you know, have fun. That's it's awesome. a it's a great game. Don't don't make it. Uh, don't make it a chore where you're going to hate it like I have with, like, 2. Like, I don't enjoy playing House of the Dead 2 yeah. very much anymore. Like, you said, what's my favorite one? It's 4. What's my least favorite one? It's 2. And why? Yeah. Because I played it to death. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely saw that. Because you've done... Well, couldn't you say that about Star Fox? Sort of. Yeah. No, that game is, is one that I don't, like, enjoy playing anymore. Okay. But every once in a while, you just... I just do it. Um, if I do it, you if there's the any reason why I'm playing Star <laughs> Fox again, it's because I'm streaming, and it's yeah. because people enjoy watching me play that game. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And uh, I mean, also, yeah. also, I'm I'm seconds away from world record in a couple of categories, and so it you've, you've drives doing me that in private. <laughs> drives me insane. No, I'm just saying in general, like in okay. Star Fox, yeah. I'm a few seconds off of like the the world record times, oh, and me. yeah. It, it, I, I want I want to get there. I um, I actually got one of the world records at a GDQ in the practice room. Wow. <laughs> one <laughs> one night, and I'm like, oh my god, that's amazing. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I, you're familiar. This this is not going to mean anything to anybody, but it's a story I like to tell. Um, did you are you do you watch a lot of GDQ stuff? On and off. I'm, I mean, I wish to be on okay. it one day, but I mean, you know, I always get jealous when I get to watch it. I always sometimes watch it live. But yeah. I, Did I you ever see from I think 2014? You're testing um, my memory. Yeah. A legendary Jack and Daxter run. No. With I, Bone I Saw. Have watched it. Okay. Oh, it's you're just gonna say you're in the background. Incredible... <laughs> no, I'm not. I wasn't the crowd. I I might show up in like a panning shot yeah, or yeah, something yeah. like that. Um, it's a legendary run because. Um, Bonesaw, the guy who, who ran it, is yep. uh, Canadian, and he got fucked so hard by Air Canada in getting to GDQ, he hadn't slept in God oh knows how God. many hours. The Jack and Daxter run was at, like, 2.30 in the morning, <laughs> and he is exhausted and loopy. And there's a dude named Patty who's on yeah. his couch, who is one of the funniest goddamn people I've ever seen on Twitch. Um, so the two of them firing back and forth at each other at 2.30 in the morning. It's one of the funniest runs ever. And it's gone to, it got him, it got Bonesaw banned from oh uh, submitting runs for like a year or two just because they kept like saying shit. GDQ does not want <laughs> you to exactly. say. Um so I was very honored to be in the room for that run, to watch it. Yeah. Right before that run, I got the world record in red line for um, Star Fox 64. Yeah. And my roommate for GDQ was uh, one of my the best friends in, in speedrunning, yeah. who was also one of the top Star Fox runners. He had to do um, donation readings yeah. at like... He was the shift of like yeah, yeah, yeah. 4 a.m. to like 9 a.m. or something like that. So I I was letting him sleep in the room while I was, you know, doing runs and uh, watching the Jack and Daxter. And I got back up to our hotel room as he was leaving. And I'm, I'm like, dude, I got the world record. Also, you missed the best run. Like the, <laughs> the Jack and Daxter run took precedence over I got world record in the game we both run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that's awesome though. That's awesome though. 
It's so cool. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, okay, I'll ask the final question now, which is, where can people yeah. find you? What are you doing nowadays? And I mean, you know, like, oh, anything well, up and coming, anything I, up and coming. I, I got some shows coming up, but I have a feeling some of you guys aren't going to make those. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, just um, keep watching out for me. I'm on... Uh, I'm on YouTube at uh, Lennon Free Comedy. Yeah, I'll put everything I on screen. Don't like post. I, I don't post anything there regularly. I'm it's coming uh, largely back. just um, <laughs> just just put. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I mean I, I don't post like videos there unless it's like I, the most recent thing. The two most recent things I've put up, I think, are just comedy videos. Of, yeah, that's of on your other channel. That's uh, the the Lennon I, Free Comedy. So yeah, I'll put, I'll put everything. Yeah. yeah well, the other like one fun. of. Uh, another comedian which was the a name i used to go by on the yeah. leaderboards just as like the the the, the moniker i went with yeah. yeah i don't use that anymore you'll probably never see anything there ever again okay um i'm on twitter at, at london free where you can see the same shit you can see on youtube because i don't really post there either <laughs> but hey you know what it's there sometimes yeah. i post jokes if i'm like workshopping something <laughs> Yeah, like, I like this idea. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see what the Twitter sphere thinks. Yeah, we're, we're gonna say in the next comedy show. So, so the stupid Twitch streamer contacted me. <laughs> the other brother contacted me. I was like, what? What, what the does he fuck want is up with this dude? What, what does he yeah. want from me? Bothering me. <laughs> Trying to sell me Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> but yeah, um, the the, mo the biggest thing I want to get out of anything here is uh, go watch my comedy. Oh, he's you not know what? dead, guys. Twitch he's not dead. Again? <laughs> I am not dead. I am, I am undead. You can't kill me. Um, if I'm Twitch streaming again, you'll find out on 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 my Twitter. So head over there and 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 follow me there. And yeah. I'd, know, I'd love to guess on that, me. but you know. Yeah. Oh, of course, absolutely. If, if it's House of Dead related, I I play all the games. But I mean, you know, you might be out of the series. No, but I'm all over the place. If you want to start running four, I mean, I'd be happy to you know have a have a little bit of chat. I. I, oh, you don't want to ruin I it, I would though, like do you? to run for... Do you want to know what... I I don't mind. I can play it for a long time before yeah. that. Before I ruin that. You know the biggest reason I stopped running House of the Dead 4? What? Um, my free month of PS Now ran out. Oh, th <laughs> this is a whole nother... This, 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 to, <laughs> to actually buy it. This is a whole nother conversation to be had, but, you know, maybe we'll save that for a little bit later on. Hopefully you might make a week of the yeah. dead. Um, sure. Hopefully you might make it, but it's a very interesting conversation to be had right after this. But if you guys want to go find him, I'll link all the Hello. socials on the screen. Uh, he's not dead, Hell guys. Yeah. He's, he's not dead. I am not. <laughs> I'm not. I just do other shit. <laughs>